We are here at the Dollar General in Guthrie Center. Getting ready to find out why this place keeps plugging. So I'm going through the clean out back by the mop sink since it's the only clean out in the store. past the initial sink comes in and it does a hard 90 once it gets right into the ground so around that 90 it drops down again into the main which is why it's been so hard to get in here because it just it's a hard T. So the snake hits that or the jetter hose hits that. It's not necessarily gonna drop straight down. So now I gotta see if I can get the camera head to drop down there. successful. This is 10 feet. Okay, we have another part dropping in there that could be the toilet or it could be something else. So I'm going to go flush the toilet and find out. Okay, that wasn't the toilet. The toilet was beforehand flowing down into there. So that is another spot roughly 15 feet into the line going up somewhere else. I'm going to go and see once again if it's a clean out and what direction it's going. Okay that is actually I located the line. That going up is actually right in the walkway right dead center of the first aisle outside the bathrooms. Um, there is nothing but tile on it, which the pictures will show later on. So that is covered up right there. 
most likely it's a clean out that got tiled over. So we should be able to remove the tile and find it. And this is where we transition from here to cast iron. I'm going to go locate the line again here. Just to make sure I'm going in the, the right direction. That clean out was about 15 feet from this, or that opening was 15 feet, and about 16 feet to the cast iron. We are now 20 feet in. Significant buildup and scaling right there in the line. We are now. 30 feet in. Very significant scale build up. The narrowing of the line. I'm going to go locate it again now that we're at 30 feet. And be right back. Okay, located it again underneath the shelf. So I'm going to push a little bit further, get it away from the shelf. That is some serious calcium buildup right there. But we're not able to hit this because of the hard T and the way it drops down. There's not a direct access into this main line. Standing water right there. And we are at 40 feet right here. And there's standing water in the line. I'm going to go flush the toilet and see how it flows. I'm backing it up. The camera up to 35 feet. We'll see how this flows here.
slow one. So at 37 feet, the camera wants to go under the water. At 40 feet, we are clearly under the water. It is clean water right now, so the camera lens can still see through it. But you can see from the, the scale buildup. That it's not flowing. Let that settle. So you can see what that image is. We are roughly Clearly under it right there. It's as far as we can probably go to see. So I'm going to pause it and go locate the line again. Alright, I uh, located it. It runs underneath the shelf that has the Tupperware in it. We are reflecting off of something here. Can't quite make it out what it is. I'm hitting uh, I can't go any further than this with the camera. It won't let me push past this spot here. This is where the blockage is. About 40, 40, uh, almost 50 feet. Say about 40, 46. Just a lot of scale build up. I'm gonna see about possibly locating that line. Where that clean out is, or wherever that line leads to in the hallway at about 15 feet.
right there, right where it meets up. So I'm going to go flush some lines and we're going to see where we're at. No, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, there's definitely a clean out right there where it transitions into the cast iron. I'm going to go mark the floor and pull the camera out. <laughs> 